thank you for opening up this video and showing some interest in how I'm going to alter this magnet. I received all of these magnets at a military trade show on base with my daughter and her children, and we are going to alter them into little pieces of art for your fridge. But first, I would like to introduce you to my channel. Let's get started working on this magnet. The first thing I did when I pulled this magnet out is I did take a piece of sandpaper and lightly sand the face of this magnet. So what I am gluing on here with my glue stick will adhere. I just have some remnant book pages, some little scraps and pieces, utilizing that glue stick, putting it into place. Once I have everything down, <clears throat> I'm gonna go back over and just make sure that everything that I have is properly stuck into place. <clears throat> and once everything is down and I am confident that it is secure, I am gonna pull out some of my glue and water mixture or my homemade Mod Podge, if you will. And I will take that and coat over the top of this paper just to get everything adhered, everything in place, and put that protective coating over this. So let's get that down. And I'm just using a brush to brush this on, and we'll let that dry. Now, once that is dry, <clears throat> I've come back in with some of my homemade texture paste. And I make my texture paste out of baby powder, uh, glue, and acrylic paint. And I put that texture paste across the top and allowed it to dry and then came back with two colors of the Distress Oxide Spray. One of them is Vintage Photo, the other is Brush corduroy. So the lighter of the two is the vintage photo, the darker of the two is the brushed corduroy. And I allowed that to drip. I'm going to speed up that drying process a little bit with my blow dryer. And now I'm pretty happy with this um, background. And I have never ever used these Lindy's Magicals, and I have no idea why I bought them or what I bought them for, but these, I think, are typically used with alcohol inks. Do not have a clue. So I am just going to experiment. There is one in here that I like the color. It is called Red Hot Poker Orange, and this is the Lindy's Magicals autumn leaf autumn leaves collection so i'll put that on and and hit it with a little water and and let that expand itself and and let's just see what it does so i think i went a little more color and i spraying that with my water spritzer and yeah i'm pretty happy with that um i probably should do some research and find out exactly what these are for but it, as, as you know, I just moved and I found things that I had no idea I had. And if any of you are like me, I see a video, I really like the outcome of it. I immediately go to my Amazon, I purchase the items that they recommended and they come in and I tuck them in a drawer thinking, oh, I'll do that the next time I'm over in my shop and I forget about it, I never use it and then you know, you go to move and, and you find all of these items and you're wondering, why, why did I buy that? I have no idea. So I have pulled this out and put it to use. And I, I really kind of like using it in this way. I don't know 
if that's, a, it, you know, forgive me if it's not its intended use and it's not a good way to use it, but that's what I'm kind of up against right now. So here is the, uh, you know, just a little bit more application. I do li like that red hot poker orange. And I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So I'm going to let that dry. And we will consider this a pretty good background. Now there are some little granules in there that I'm using my paintbrush just to make sure that they have absorbed the water and have turned into what this is that they're turning into. I'm just moving it around a little bit. Now I think I'll let it drip, let it dry. And um, I think that we are good with that. So now I'm pretty happy with the background, but I want to add some words. And I decided that I would add one word and I'm utilizing the word explore, but I need a way to attach that. So I have a piece of tissue paper that I just hit with my Distress Oxide Sprays, a Vintage Photo, and the Brush Corduroy. I'm pulling out my Stays On Permanent Ink, and I will just stamp the word Explore right here on the tissue paper, and that black is showing up pretty pretty good on, on this tissue paper. So we're not going to get overly crazy about making this um, straight and and in line, I want to just, you know, kind of explore, if you will. And that's what I'm doing. That's what I did with the Lindy's Crystals or the Lindy's Magicals. And I kind of think that's probably a pretty good theme for, for this magnet. Because I was just exploring what I could do with a product that I don't remember why I purchased. So I have my word. And where... Um, this tissue paper lies on the magnet, it should turn relatively transparent. So let me lay it there across the bottom. And we'll go back to that uh, homemade water and glue mixture. And we'll adhere that with the water and glue. Whoops, there we go. So be cautious, be careful. The tissue paper will tear if you're too rough with it. And I kind of like to start in the middle and work my way out to the side in theory. So we have that on. I'm pretty content with the way that looks. And now I will come back with my gold paint pen and finish this magnet up by hitting it with some gold splatters. I think there's always a good excuse for a gold splatter or two. And you can see I've taken just a baby wipe and covered up the word explore. So I'm not getting the splatters on the word explore. Once I have all the splatters down, I'm going to pull that magnet up and go around the outside edge with the gold too, so that we're not seeing any um, of the magnet color or white or anything in, in the background. So you can see the um, pages kind of coming through. You have that nice background with that red hot poker orange kind of highlighted color there the word explore on tissue paper and we will call this complete and i will take this magnet and hit it over on my file cabinet and it will become a little piece of art in my studio thank you so much for joining me i'll take you through just a few uh, photo montage or a few photos of the finished magnet and I am happy you are here.
And that, in a quick 10 minutes, wraps up this particular magnet. So once again, thank you for being here. Please hit subscribe. A like is always very gratifying to me, and I love to listen, listen to or read your comments. If you want to join us over on my Facebook page, please hop over to Facebook and join us in Two Old Crows Mixed Media over there. And I hope you take an opportunity to get to know me a little bit better by watching my vlogs. And I'll post one of those uh, in the description or uh, eh, I'm not going to make it the end screen. I'll post one in the description. So if you want to go over and get to know me face to face, you have that opportunity. Bye for now.